Another term that you might hear in relation to um, stoma hormone surgery would be proctectomy. And for those of you who don't know what it is, I thought I would talk you through exactly what that is. So proctectomy is whenever the surgeon removes your rectum and anus, and he would then he or she would then sew up um, your back passage so that you would have a wound there as well. There's a few different reasons why people would need to have um, their rectum and anus removed. One of them would be that you're diagnosed with a rectal cancer and that it is too low down for the surgeon to be able to resect it, take it away and join the bowel up. So that would really mean that you would have a permanent stoma. But there's another group of people who um, may need to have their rectum removed and that would be people who maybe have ulcerative colitis and that they come into hospital and have their first stage of their surgery done. They have their uh, colon removed they have their ileostomy formed, but the surgeon then leaves the rectum and anus and a small part of the large bile um, intact. The idea being that there might be an option for um, another type of surgery to reverse the stoma further down the line. But there's a decision then that has to be made as to when the rectum then is removed. So this operation is called the completion proctectomy. And that is when you would come back into hospital at a later date, maybe a couple of years down the line, or it could be sooner than that if you're having um, a bit of excess bleeding coming from the rectum and it's hard to manage. But the thing to remember about this surgery is that generally it's done as a, you know, a second stage. You come in well, it's a planned operation. Yes, it's not something that you would want to have done, but there is a rule of thumb that really within about 10 years of your diagnosis of ulcerative colitis, you would need to have your rectum removed because there is a greater risk of cell changes and it needs to be investigated. So once again, you will have your um, wound at the back passage and also a wound on your abdomen and that's just to be able to facilitate the removal of this part of the last part of the bowel. But because you have been well and you're not hopefully not on any medication, you will recover you know, much quicker than what you did from your initial surgery. Um, but it is something that has to be done at some point in time and it's called either a proctectomy or a completion proctectomy.